the Baker Center is obviously an exciting place just because it's a new building and everybody loves a new building, but we're really excited about it beyond that because it has a lot of really innovative space that allows us to teach in innovative ways and to interact a lot with students. The studio classrooms that we're employing here are an integrated approach to science education. So the traditional method is to have a lecture class and to have a lab class separate from that. And the, there are some obvious downsides to that, which are that we often have to tell students something and then expect them to experience it later, or to have some experience that they can't fully understand until we can talk about it later. In the studio format, we get to do that in an integrated fashion. So we can allow students to make some observations uh, do things in a hands-on way, in an inquiry style, and then we can talk about the ways in which we can tie some of those themes together, and then students can take that information and do something a little higher order and do some real problem solving. We see the Baker Center as a transformational tool for helping Cal Poly students develop strong math and science fundamentals. We envision these students taking these fundamental skills back to their various majors, where they'll go on to do higher level problem solving research and build successful projects and careers. Electrical engineering is the study of electric currents and voltages. It's applied to many subfields, including communications, radio frequency engineering, signals processing, power engineering. Myself and two other electrical engineering grad students were asked by Caltrans to build a sensor that could go into a rock and measure the rock's movement as it rolled down the hill. The core question was, how much energy does a rock have at the bottom of the hill? It kind of sounds like a question directly out of Physics 141. How strong of a fence do we need to build in order to stop that rock from going onto the road? Learn by doing is probably going to help me more than anything else in my job. I'll be graduating at the end of this fall quarter, heading back up to Apple and Cupertino to work full time for the iPhone systems engineering team. To me, physics is really all about structure and spaces and motion, and to me that's a lot of what architecture is too. I mean, you need a basic understanding of physics and math and chemistry to understand how different elements are going to come together to create the spaces you want. Because even before you propose a space and propose the little details about it, you need to know that it's feasible and that those connections can really come together and withstand forces. Right now we're doing a performance space, a concert hall. In this project, we really started off with the problem of having to create a kinetic machine that also made music. And so we used basic principles of physics and math by having to create pulley systems and tensioning and figuring out like weights and forces. So the whole thing was really a giant physics problem. Cal Poly's whole idea of Learn By Doing has really given me the confidence that when we're faced with a problem that we haven't really met before, don't understand, it gives me the, the self-confidence that I can muddle through it and get to a point where I can understand it and overcome it. That's a mindset that I can and will definitely take to other classes and beyond Cal Poly. The definition of food science is pretty much it's an applied science. We need to have physics and chemistry to sort of help us along the way into making a product shelf-stable or creative. Recently, we've gotten a machine called an extruder. With this machine, we can create a light and airy snack similar to something like Cheetos or Cheerios or Pop Chips or something like that. My senior project would be to create an enterprise project to create a snack food or cereal. A lot of chemistry and physics is involved. For example, in chemistry, we have to pay close attention to the composition of the raw materials. And for physics, well, that's the extruder. The practical experience in Cal Poly is vital for the industry. It gives you a lot of confidence. A lot of my professors have always said that industry always admires Cal Poly's willingness to go at it and just do it. Learn by Doing allows us to give students the experience to do science in the way that science is truly done in the real world. Teaching is always an evolving process. We're not only educators, we're also scientists, and so we always try to evaluate what is it that we're doing, how are we best benefiting our students, how could we improve, and so we're going to build on these experiences and really try to move forward to provide a transformational experience for our students at Cal Poly.